Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. I'm hoping that we're going to begin approaching Greece now, peacefully. Because that guy in the upper left, I am sick of him. He cheats, by the way. Yes, he does. We're going to talk about that, but he does indeed cheat. And I'm really sick of seeing him. Now, we got one battle left, and when I opened that area, he said, oh, we're finally going to meet each other now on the battlefield. He seems to forget when I spanked him the last time we got together. So I really do hope this is going to be the last time. And I don't want him as a general. No, I don't. Commander. I don't want him as a commander. Nope, absolutely not. All right, so let's talk about everything else first. I have been doing a lot of goods gathering, as you can see, Marvel busts, Iron pendants, a lot of linen shirts. I've been selling them, getting some good currency, trade currency. I have about 12,000, so I could grab 400 of either one of those if I needed. In terms of Egypt, you can see I got a lot of papyrus scrolls and a lot of onks. I've actually invested in what I need to unlock the second stage of the bridge. I just haven't clicked it yet because I thought we'd do that together. All right. Oh, and money pops up. Money just pops up all over the place. And you can see I have a lot of money. And for once, I actually have a lot of food, too. Probably going to need that. I do have the ability to... Actually, I can get another spot here. It's just that I haven't been able to free up five people. That's kind of the problem with the combat, is that you really need to tie your people up. Like, for instance, if you get your cavalry wiped out, which has happened to me... It takes 40 minutes to restore them. Yes, you could take all of these things over here and place them around there, and it would speed it up a bit. But then again, I need all that stuff over there to produce food as much as possible because it does take a lot of guys to do that, and I need them to be productive when I do it. I mean, it's telling me, oh, you know, you can install more farms. I can't work the farms that I have. Why would I install more of them? It doesn't make any sense. Hopefully, the game doesn't force me to actually do that. Okay, so let's take a quick look around here uh, in terms of this. All right, now, I can open up these other ones, but I think this one is kind of a priority because this one is actually for my original town, and Felix needed that so I can inv advance his mission. He said he wants one for this, not for Egypt, so I kind of have to do this. It's expensive, but what am I going to do? I don't even really care about what I'm getting here because I haven't done most of my small home upgrades anyway and because they take trade items. So I'm getting a little bit of extra money, but they're taking trade items. So I'll do them when I have to. And I'm going to get one more little cultural site. whoop -dee. But the thing is, if I do this, I'm really hoping that something will become available to me. Okay, Iron Pendant is now available. So that's going to be my next thing. As a matter of fact, here, have 20. Because if I can do this one, I don't have to buy them from the trade guy anymore, right? And more importantly, I'll be able to upgrade my Artisan. And that's the one that's producing the bronze bracelets, I believe. And I'll be able to make a second one too. Usually that's the way it works. So that I can make more of them. So that's actually going to be very useful. And I think marble working is going to need all of them. So I'm still going to have to uh, buy them via the trader. All right. Now, can I do any of these now that I have this? Okay, that's going to unlock an irrigation station. And this one is going to allow me to construct another average home. And two more little wells. I think that one is a higher priority because it will give me more workers in Egypt. But there's one here that is just like amazing. What is it? Not that one. This one, extraction methods. Check this out. Gold mine. I'll be able to construct another gold mine. More importantly, another gold smith. It'll also allow me to make one more small home and two average homes in Egypt. So that's going to be, that's a great one. Uh, I have to do the wheel for that one, though. So the wheel is going to have to be my priority down here. I can do this one right now. So I'm just going to do that. I mean, I can make two more spots in Egypt. It's just that I've been tying up everybody doing trade stuff. So how far am I off on this one? I mean, I could do that because I can just buy the stuff. And then, you know, I could actually do that. 
how much am I need for this? Yeah, but I don't have the yeah, 27 research points for that one. So that one's going to be a real pain, isn't it? Besides, I've already invested 20 in this one. Yeah, I mean, this one is probably more important and it's more obtainable at the moment. All right, so we got some advancement here. All right, so let's see. What can I make here? Was there something new? Oh, another cultural site. Probably not a bad idea. I'll put it over here. Actually, like here. Is that going to affect this one? All right, it's not really having an impact. I'm just going to put it there anyway for now. I'll put it there. I don't know if I can upgrade that one at that point, but maybe I can. All right, let's go deal with Felix because I have some incidents around the screen in case he uh, wants them. All right, so this is now done. That was the 14th one, and it was for the capital city and not Egypt. That's the reason I had to do that. And we already did incidents in the last video, too. Oh, my brain hurts. I don't even have six farms. Okay, I don't think I can actually upgrade them yet, too. Um, yeah, that one's good. That one's going to hurt. That one's going to hurt. All right, so there's going to be a lot of trade items I'm going to have to do for the homes, too. See, if I want to upgrade, is this one eight? I mean, look what it requires. So, I mean, it's just going to be very costly over time. Very costly over time. And the farms? Yeah, I only have five. And what would they... Okay, this one's eight. I don't even have the upgrades available yet. So I couldn't do those if I wanted to. But apparently, I'm going to need to build another farm. Because I don't have a choice. It's not giving me a choice. I suppose I could hide it up here or something like that. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so it slows us down, right? Okay, so we've got this guy over here. Now, flourishing framework from um, Clio. I had to upgrade either the Papyrus field or the gold mine. I chose the gold mine because the Papyrus field was actually going at the time, so I couldn't do it. All right, so I'm going to do this one. Okay, and I have the eight technologies in Egypt, and we've completed this. With all that is done, my people praise their queen. Why? I'm doing all the work. It is most welcome to hear, and I have you to thank. Yeah, because it's me who's been doing everything. Yippee. Okay, Secrets of the Nile. I feel you are now worthy to learn the secrets of the Nile. Temples made to praise the gods. By aiding us further, you are sure to reveal some of the parts are needed to construct these marvels. Okay, so am I going to get another wonder then? Okay, I have to have um, two gold mines and two papyrus fields, even though I have no need for them whatsoever. Can I get rid of them afterwards? Oh, that's just annoying. Because I don't have a lot of space for that. That's going to take up a lot of space. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I can do this stage over here. Let's just go over to uh, Egypt. And we'll see what I've been doing over here and try to figure out some way to squeeze this stuff in. All right, so grab the money. So I've been having those guys work. Notice I have all the wells over here to keep these guys at 90. They can produce 90 at a time. Like, see, these are at 30. This guy over here is boosted, but he's only 25. Okay, and the gold mine. Yeah, I have to put two more gold mines down. All right, how much? 40 minutes. I got two available. All right. I guess I could squeeze them in somewhere, but, I mean, that means I'm not going to be able to do the extra homes or anything like that. Oh, and here is the bridge. Let's just do the bridge. Okay, so she's probably going to be happy with that. What does it want me to do? Oh, the irrigation. I'm guessing this is going to be a lot of happiness here. Am I going to have a place to put it? How big is it? All right, we can just do that. I'm not reaching that one, though. All right, I'm going to have to... Um, See, that one is not doing that. Can I put it? I can't put it there. I'm going to have to move one of those wells, I think. All right, hold on a minute. Uh, let's see. Actually, not that one. Let's do this. Where am I going to put you? 
All right. Put this over here for now. Make them happy. And then we'll put this thing down. Irrigation. And that should do well. I'm going to need another one over here, ain't I? All right. Let me just put it down and I'll worry about it later. All right. That's going to take 33 minutes. Maybe I should move that back in the meantime. All right. And we did the, uh, the second stage of the bridge. I'm really concerned about what the third stage is going to need. Okay. Let's find out. 2,000, 1,500. Okay, that's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, certainly the money isn't a problem. But I don't quite have those yet. So I need, oh, the onk is really down. Right, because I used those for some of the, um, for some of these, didn't I? And this one here wants to use 250 of the papyrus scrolls. I could probably do that one. Um, I have to buy the stuff, but I can, I can do that. I get 300 of those. That'll do. I just need like 200 of those. All right. Maybe we'll take care of that. I just have a lot, a lot of things I need to be doing in terms of upgrading and such. Okay. Um, can I start building? I guess I could start building some of the things that I need to build. I could put one over here and one over here. Okay. Uh, build... I need to make another papyrus field, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying. Do I want to leave it there? I might as well just leave it there. All right. I have five workers left, so let me make the, uh, the gold mine. Oh, I don't have the ability to make another gold mine yet. Okay, so that's going to be dependent on some other stuff. Okay, so I have to do lots and lots of missions. Let's go back. All right, let's take a trip over here. I don't know if I'm going to need those. I'll worry about opening them up later. All right, I need the uh, marble busts and the iron pendants. So I'm going to go over here, do a search. I can really buy 400 of both of them, and I might as well do that because at the moment, the trade items are really not useful for anything else for me. All right, and where is... Oh, that create offer, search, iron pendants. I think I only needed two. You know, this first one would probably do the job for me, the 220. All right, so I have 3,100 left. I could probably do some. I might as well do this because there's a cooldown on this, right? All right, let's just throw in like 100 and in 100 here. After it's done, you have like an hour cooldown where you can't do anything. And that's after you pick it up. All right, and we're done there. All right, so I can probably do this one now. Yes, I can. And that's going to let me make a, another average home over in Egypt and two more of those happy wells. Although I don't think I have space for them. But, you know, we got to advance, don't we? Okay, so just out of curiosity, I'm actually, yeah, I mean, the thing about it is I'm, I mean, I don't obviously have the research for that one, but that one is not so bad. This is the one that I really do need. Wow, a thousand onks. I mean, this this one I kind of need. I kind of need all of them, but at least I'm... Am I closing in? I mean, these here are going to be like, look, 21 research, 16 research, 25 research, and then this one, 18 on the end. I mean, the extraction methods down here is 27. So, I mean, there's a lot of researching that needs to be done here, right? Lots of researching. All right. Is there anything other than going to beat up that other guy? Because I am looking forward to it. All right. So, or. Okay. So, I only need to make one of them. I thought I had to make both of them. Oh, wow. It's a good thing I didn't start construction of the other one. Okay. That's good. Although, I might end up getting rid of the extra papyrus field. I mean, it produces like 12,000 every two hours. Why do I need a second one? I mean, I'm not running them now. There's no reason for it. I just have so much. <sighs> okay, I think that we're going to do some combat now because I really want to get rid of this guy. He is such a cheater. Do you know what he's been doing? In, in the area beforehand, he's actually been taking like his, uh, the alligators, crocodiles, I don't know which one it is for uh, Egypt, and he's been putting them on my side of the battlefield. 
So I have to put guys around them, you know? And in this, in the previous location, what he was doing is was shrinking the battlefield that I have. So I would literally not be able to put all my guys down, even though he outnumbers me. The last battle I won, and this is not an exaggeration, I had one archer left. That's it. One archer. And that's only because I was using the bull and the healing and the rock thing. Because if I hadn't been using those actively, I would have lost. And I actually haven't lost any, but I had one archer left. So I have no idea what he's going to have here. Okay, I'm going to get two more areas for um, Egypt. It's getting to the point where I need to get to the other side because I'm really running out of space on this side of the river, you know? The Nile. Okay, we're back to Gators. And we have him there. And archers, which is kind of a pain. I have to make sure I get rid of the archers be, you know, before I kill him off. Okay, are they going to be on my side of the battlefield? I hate when the Gators are on my side of the battlefield. Okay, no, but they are, like, filtering them. All right, at least I can put everything down. It's just a little weird here. Uh, okay, put them down here. Yeah, in this case, I am going to go with this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my archers behind here. So why don't I take advantage of the terrain for a change, right? All right, and then I'm going to put cavalry here and here. They're going to rush through, hopefully kill the gators. All right, and of course, he is a problem. Now, my bulls have been misbehaving on me. What I usually do is I put them behind the range guys so that they'll have to turn around and start fighting them. But you know, if there's anybody melee nearby, they'll just run away and go after the melee one where I want them to take out the, the range ones. Sometimes the range doesn't turn around and the bulls just kill them. So that's the best case scenario right there. I'm just afraid that the bulls are going to run over to him and I don't want that to happen. All right, so let's see how this goes. Fortunately, I do have a concentrated area here where I can heal. Okay. Okay, and bulls back here, please. Will you not do that? Okay, he's going after range, guys, so I'm okay with that. Okay, I need this right here. Okay, heal right here. It's my... Ca okay, my cavalry killed him. Okay, and some more boars. Okay, not boars, bulls. Okay, what happened? No! It's like I told you. He cheats. It's like he, he like prayed to Set. Oh, mighty Set. I am defeated. Give me another chance. Use the time stone. Okay, so it dropped me back here because I have to do this battle, but I did it already, so let's do it again. Hopefully we don't have that problem again. Okay, heal right in there. Okay, stone right on the head. Okay, bulls over here, please. Could you, what, what are you doing? Could you not do that? All right, where is he here? Okay, because I'm going to stone him on the head again. All right, where is he? Right here, right here. Okay, heal. Heal my horses. Okay, he's dead. This is very good. He deserves it. Okay, I guess Seth didn't answer his prayer this time. Okay, pretty costly, but of course, I won. I think. Unless it resets again. Yippee! Okay, and... Mine. This region is already... What? Okay, um, yeah, I know. I'm trying to... Okay, what's going on here? Hold that a minute. Let's step back. Maybe this is Set's revenge. Your game is now broken. You cannot accept this area. Um... Hello? Um, okay, was that it? I'm, I'm very confused. 
I'm actually extremely confused. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, was this where I was? Because I'm I'm confused. I don't see. Um, okay, this was the Valley of the Gods, right? And I worked my way up here, and then I got this one, right? Okay. It's not letting me. My game is actually broken. I have this area, there's nothing else available, and I can't do that mission because it thinks it thinks that I need to do I need to conquer it, but I did conquer it. And I've acquired it, but because it crashed at that moment. Oh, that is ugly. Okay, I tell you what, let me restart and see if that resolves. Okay, stop that. Let me restart and see if that resolves it. Okay, so let's go back over here. I am since I didn't see him saying that I got his area. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, all right, good. That that concerned me because I could tell you what the title of the video was going to be. My game is broken. But apparently not. Victory is merely fleeting. Watch the shadows, as my spirit will lurk there always. As long as you're gone. Okay, I got an Egypt expansion, I got a second Egypt expansion, and some hanging gardens. Okay, do I have a new place to go? Or does it not open up until I do this? Complete. You have imprisoned me. I wouldn't have taken you alive, just so you know. But I will never be beaten. Uh, I've beaten you twice. Actually, if you count every territory, like nine times, I will watch your every move and prepare to strike when you least expect it. Oh, I better have you executed immediately then. I'm going to take care of that. Okay, oh, we got some research points, which is good. Okay, does that mean that I don't have any military things to worry about for now? Because I'd really like not to worry about any military stuff. Because I don't see any... Oh, I see a scouting. Okay, what am I scouting? The Borderlands. All right, I will scout the Borderlands. Hopefully, this is not something that I need to do to get to Greece. I've had enough combat for now. Uh, I need to rebuild my forces, and that's going to be very expensive. And time-consuming, too. Very time-consuming. All right. Like I said, last battle, one archer. That's all that was left. All right, and I don't think there's anything else I can actually do at this point. Let's look, go down the... All right, build, rebuilding the bridge. Now I'm going to have to save up for that one. I don't even have six farms, and I can't upgrade them yet. So, yeah, I can't upgrade the homes into nine. Uh, I am making another papyrus field, but that's going to take time. So I think what we should do is, first of all, I need to build this. So let that go. I might as well grab these because they might be uh, research points. Or might be that. That's money. By the way, I do seem to be getting gems again. You can see I'm up to 375. So I don't know. Maybe it's just randomness or something like that. But I do seem to be getting them again. And school, I don't know. The thing is, if you're going to make me put a farm down, another farm down, then I really don't have room, you know? Because I need to save space. Because you see, like, the tailors, I have two of them. So if I get the same kind of upgrades for the other two, that means I have to make space for two more buildings. So that's kind of the reason that uh, I really can't put anything else down. I mean, if I get more homes, I have to put them here. Although I don't know if that's going to happen. And uh, the... Um, Average homes, actually, I should probably start upgrading these since they're currently seven. They're going to have to go to nine anyway. Um, I can do two of them. Just in terms of workers. So all of my workers are tied up right now. And I have nothing going on the farms because I do have 810,000 food. So that's not such a bad thing. All right. One last look over at Egypt. 
Okay, so this is actually done. That means that mission of hers is done. All right, the Peppers Field. Had three workshops. Did it. Okay, uh, that's... Okay, well, that's easy enough to do. You know, I think I already have them in there. No, I don't actually. Why don't I have them in there? Oh, because I was uh, building onto this. Actually, I need to build another one too, don't I? And I can do that. Actually, I could probably do two of them. Uh, this one, this one will be... Is this one already being done? Oh, you know what it is. I can't do the one with the tree because I don't own an adjacent yet because I'm currently building them. So I'm going to hold on to the other one because doing this one on the outside doesn't really make a lot of sense unless I have the one that's in the middle over here. And you always want to build on the Nile first because it's going to be an automatic uh, happiness boost or a water one, I should say, right? All right, so uh, I, I can get some things going here. I can at least, which I think I'm behind an onx though, right? Yeah, it's behind an onx because I only have one place that produces them. So I'll just do those. I don't think I have any upgrades outstanding, right? No, I don't. And I can't make anything for now. Let me spend this stuff, though. All right, just spend that. Hopefully, I can get those guys going pretty soon. And I think it's going to have to be the extraction methods because this one is just so critical. But we are closing in, and it looks like unless there's an enemy hiding in that scouting I'm going to be doing, hopefully the military aspect is done for now. Because like I said, it's a big time waste because I have to tie up all these guys to do uh, recovery when I really want to have all these trade things going and the farms going and such like that. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Yeah, that was scary for me because uh, I was thinking, okay, what do I do then? I mean, if it's broken, what am I going to do? But all I have to do is restart it and it got going, but it was kind of buggy there. That's what happens when Set gets involved. And like I told you, that guy cheats. And you saw it live. Well, recorded, kind of. Anyway, I'm going to be working on building up resources, trying to uh, get those um, uh, research items in there and get closer to Greece. I hear things get really ugly at that point. But you know what? Let's get there first and then worry about it. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.